Good evening and welcome to OG Dweeb. I know it's been a long time since I've made an art supply video because frankly I really haven't need to buy anything. Um, but old man OG and I were walking around uh, all, uh, Ollie's today and I happened to find a little bin of Arteza pencils. Now they only had a few shades of green and brown but they did have the regular expert pencils which are as you can see supposed to be comparable to Prismacolor Premier and they also happened to have one color of the watercolor pencils as well. So I would like to do a side-by-side -side comparison real quickly just to see. Now I've been looking at these both sets of these pencils for a long time, but I've been using Prismacolor um, brand products since high school, which is, well, 30 years ago almost. Sorry, Shh. don't tell anyone. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna look for a, a color that's similar to this and a color similar to that. Um, for the exercise, we'll be using Strathmore 300 weight, um, this mixed media pad, and then I've got the Arteza 100% Cotton Expert watercolor paper we'll use for the watercolor pencils. All right, and since we're, you know, I'm still doing all this one-handed, I'm going to go ahead and color them in, see what happens, and then we'll go ahead and blend the water. One second. All right, so I went ahead and matched up the basil green Arteza pencil with the grass green Prismacolor pencil. Um, here we have on the left is, oh the Arteza pencil, and on the right, we have the Prismacolor pencil. Now, I, I feel like the Arteza is a little bit harder lead, but it's always been an issue with me, is, and I've heard other people complain about it too, Prismacolors tend to break. You have to sharpen them very, very carefully. I use a metal sharpener. I mean, I use a, a good quality sharpener and I still have issues. Um, anyway, here is also, um, I did the, like a, I went across it with a, uh, the colorless blender here. And I feel like this Arteza is a little more apt to kind of blend out with the colorless blender than the Prismacolor was. Um, however, here we go. Blending Prismacolor on the right. I feel like that was a little, it went on a lot smoother and I feel like it blended a little easier less layering. Um, as you can see, if you look really closely, there's some streaks. Pardon my dirty nails, I was gardening. Um, there's some streaks in here. Like it's, it's almost like there's some hard bits in the lead. So yeah, Prismacolor, I feel like from just this little test, I, I like better. But at the same time, I mean, we're talking, I, I believe right now there's a $20 price difference. For someone like me who's not currently doing any professional work or anything like that, I think they'd be fine. I think they'd actually be really good for a student. Really, really good for a student. You know, they're they're not bad. They're they're good quality. But I, I just I I still I'm a creature of habit. But I mean I, I would definitely think about re you know, getting a second set just for, you know, doing personal projects or for, for practice for me. Um but yeah, I think I think I prefer the Prisma Color, at least for this exercise. All right, let's go and check out the watercolor pencil. All right, and here are the watercolor pencils. For this exercise, the only watercolor pencil that they had was Parakeet Green. Um, so I paired it with just the grass green Prismacolor again. Um, let's take a look, I haven't applied water yet. So here we go. I feel like, again, there's some streaks here in the watercolor pencil, it's Arteza. This is the Prismacolor, I feel like this a little better but let's let's take a look this is a master's touch just little cheap watercolor pencil i bought at uh hobby lobby let's see if i can do this I'm paying attention let's see how it blends out hmm they melt pretty well get a little more water i forgot to grab a rag here we go that's a little better start up here yeah, they melt nicely. Hmm. Let's see here. It goes. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Now, man, yeah, what an idiot I am! I forgot a rag. Let's see. I'll swipe it off. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, now let's do the Prisma color. Let's see how these do. Hmm. 
definitely a lot more vibrant. Oh, let's see, let me dry this off over here. I got a piece of paper off to the side. I screwed up with that. Oh, well, it's all right. Let's see if I can fix it. Eh. Mm, I forgot to drag that other one down. Let's see. Probably still get some, yeah. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Let's wait until they dry and see how they look. I might actually make another one. I'm not happy with that Arteza one. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and give this Arteza one a second try because I really didn't. I should have drug it down more. Ooh, see, it's hard for me to pay attention to what I'm doing and hold this camera in the right place. I was looking at um, some table mount, uh, like a table mount um, foam camera holder so I could do this with both hands. Yeah, I mean, they blend out pretty far. I mean, that's pretty good. Hmm. Well, they're starting to dry. I mean, I think for a hobbyist, and the price is quite a bit less. I think they're, again, about $15, $20 less. Um... Yeah, I, I actually, I think if I was going to get another set of watercolor pencils, because I don't use them all that often, I think I wouldn't mind switching to these. And again, the colors are just a little different, but I only have a 24 set of the watercolor pencils. Hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys, anybody use both or either or? Has anybody else tried both? I know I've seen some videos um, with people talking about them, but I'm curious, like, what my followers have done. Um... You know, and, and a lot of them, let's be real, some of them get, are paid or they've gotten the product free. Um, so, of course, you're going to say good things, you know, <laughs> you're getting free stuff. So, uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, Arteza or Prismacolor. Um, I don't know, like I say, maybe in the future, if I ever get another set of watercolor pencils, I, I may switch up. But I, I think I'm going to stick with Prismacolor as far as for my color pencils goes. All right, hope everybody has a great evening. I'll talk to you later.